I'm going to be working from. So I don't know if you can see, but the sun is sort of um, over on this right hand side. But what I'm going to do is bring it in just a little bit and move those clouds over a touch. So it's about a third of the way in the picture. And also I'm going to lose some of this down here, probably to about the pathway. So I'm going to have more at the top, less at the bottom. Okay. Colours I'm going to be using then, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of what I've got out. So I've got um, some cerulean blue, okay, which is a very light blue. I've got some viridian green. Yeah, I don't know if you want to make a note of these or not. I've got some um, crimson, which is a red, a dark red. I've got um, cadmium red, which is a light red. I've got some cadmium orange. I may or may not use that. I haven't decided yet. Some lemon yellow, yellow ochre, white. Okay? <laughs> and a bit of purple as well. Mm -hmm. But we may or may not use that. It's just because I can't be bothered to make a purple. All right? But you could very easily just take the, um, the cerulean blue with the crimson and that will give you a nice purple. Okay? A uh, kind of a light blue. So I'm going to take some of the cerulean. <coughs> I'm going to put some white in it. <coughs> okay, so it's a very light, um, fairly light blue. I don't want it too dark. <coughs> a bit more blue, actually. And what I'm intending to do is to um, <coughs> paint all of the. Maybe a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of crimson in there just to warm it up a bit more. We'll see how that goes. I might have to get an ultramarine or a cobalt uh, if I can't get it warm enough. But this is just a starting point. So I'm just going to scrub this colour onto, onto the canvas board. And this doesn't need to be neat in any way, shape or form. So obviously it's going to be darker up here because what we're imagining is that the um uh, this is like the higher part of the sky so it's going to get much much darker as it comes up and it gets lighter and lighter and lighter okay so quickly scrub a little bit of that in now what i'm going to do is instead of putting more and more white into into this okay here i'm going to use a little bit of a watercolory type technique and actually add more thinner okay to thin this out so as you see me put this on, <clears throat> this is just spirit. It's not, it's not got any more white in it. It's just using the, um, uh, the um, odorless spirit, okay? That's all I'm doing here. So I'm going to scrub this on. <clears throat> scrub, scrub, scrub. Okay, not worrying about being too neat with this because we're going to be working into all of it and moving it all around. This is just to get some paint on the surface. Okay. So there we go. Work then there a little bit. Now I need to change of color now. So I'm gonna clean off my brush, take a piece of just kitchen roll. And I don't wanna teach you how to clean a brush, but this is just purely how I do it. I wrap it over the end and then I, from the ferrule, which is the bit where the paint usually collects, to the top of the brush, I wiggle it. Okay, to get as much paint out of the out of the um, the, the hairs as possible, and I fold it, do it again a few times, and then I'm good to go to go into another colour. Now, what I'm going to do now is mix up quite a thin. Um, take a little bit of lemon yellow, a thin bit of lemon yellow, and some white. Okay, and I'm going to start to work that into my sky. And this is not the finished product. This is just so that we can get some color and start the banding um, working. Because what we need to do now is we need to transition from the blue. And this is always the difficult part of a, with a sunset, is how do you get from the blue to the warmer orangey ready colors without it getting dirty? Okay, and that's, that's the hard bit, all right? So you have to be very careful about keeping your brush clean. Alec. And I'm gonna to start to rub this in a little bit. This is fairly thin again. I'm not going to to um, what should I say? I'm, I'm not putting this down too thickly. It's still quite thin. This colour, all right? <laughs> so we'll just bring that all the way through. Blue in there as well. 
just to dull this a touch on this left hand side. It's a little bit too dark now, let's go a bit whiter. <coughs> the window first. <coughs> okay, so we'll just scrub that on. There we go. And now we're coming down now roughly to where I want my so I'm thinking about my hill line being in this sort of area here. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more warmer colour, perhaps a bit of red, keeping it thin again. <coughs> and then I'm going to start to scrub this on. Okay, so again, pretty thinly. All the way across. And I'm not loading the brush, so I want it to just disappear a little bit more on this side. So that's why it's getting lighter, because there's not so much paint in there. Okay, so that's fine. So what I'm going to do now is start to just knock this down. And what I'm doing is I'm crisscrossing like this. Can you see where I'm just kind of cutting through the, um, the paint that I already put on to smooth it out? Okay, so all I'm intending to do here is just make it really nice and smooth. All right, so as I come down into the area where it had more spirit in it, it's going to get lighter. Good gracious. Can you see how that's going nice and smooth? Yes, I can. Yeah, so obviously <laughs> if you're doing this in watercolours, you wouldn't do this step because... Oh, I've just um, done that. <laughs> You can't really, you can't really blend watercolors like this. So what no. you would do is you would, um, you would just do this as a vaporous wash. So this would just be a very soft wash with no lines in it. You know, like I've shown you before, where you use yeah. the bead and you come down the painting, making sure that it stays nice and um, street free. Okay, mm. that would be the way that you do this. All right, mm -hmm. and then obviously then you would knock out your. Um, the clouds and stuff afterwards which we're going to do in a second so i just want to lose these bandings so what i don't want is a distinctive line between one area of color to the next area of color all right it needs to be almost seamless all right so i'm just crisscrossing through just to make it all nice and soft up and down backwards and forwards oops come on this side here we go <coughs> Just get it to disappear. And we may put more color into this later, but for the moment, this is fine, just to start off with. Okay, I'm gonna do the land first. Um, and then you would just start to knock out where you want, you see where it just lifts out, where you want your, your kind of cloud formations to kind of come through. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Yep, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. I'm gonna put this in first, all right? Um, purpley distant area. Might be a bit too dark. Let's just see. Might be alright once we've put everything else in. Might have to come a bit lighter, but we'll see. Teeny bit more, a little bit more, um, teeny bit more white in it. So when it's softer near the edge of the painting, and a bit more crisp near the middle of the painting. Okay, and I'm. Um, just wiggling the brush just to give me a bit more of a <coughs> you know, jaggedy edge at the top up here. So that kind of comes across. And then we've got the next tone of the next mountains that are closer to us. Okay? So these are going to be the furthest away ones. And then we're coming a bit closer now. So I'm going to darken the colour up a little bit. So yeah, so it's the same colours. It's just less white, more, more colour. Let's change hands. <clears throat> so, so this one's going to come again. I'm doing this reasonably thinly. So this one's wiggling its way up over here. There we go. Just fill that in a bit. A bit more fairly purpley. So this line kind of dips sort of dips down can you see the difference in the tones on the camera i'm not sure if you can mm -hmm. see them. Yeah. just about yeah 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 okay good yeah um so that kind of comes through there sort of wiggles its way up comes all the way across to this side a little bit thinner okay and that might be too dark 
pop a little bit of water, uh, a little bit of um, white in there. Just so it's not too dark. I want it to be dark enough that it's it reads as in the foreground. We're not so dark that it leaves us no room to go darker if we need to. Let's wiggle this through there. No, I'm fine. Thank you. A few little lumps and bumps to suggest trees or um, cottages. <laughs> no, we are not having any cottages this week, Sue. No, 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 We're a cottage free zone. Okay, cottage free zone. <laughs> you can have a cottage if you want. I'll tell you if I notice one, though, shall I? Okay, please do, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah, me. Right. Um, I'm just popping a little bit more blue into that same mix and it seems a bit more white just to lighten it on this right hand side so it's not the same color all the way across it just makes it a little bit more varied so let's lose that there and now i'm going to very lightly i don't know if you can see this but i'm just scrubbing that color downwards into what's going to become the like the grasses and, and kind of land in the foreground. Okay, and I'm gonna work some colors back up into that in a minute. So let's just pull those down. There we go. Greenier color, there we go. So let's just rub some of this in. I might try and preserve a little bit of this white in of the under gesso, just sort of percolating through perhaps maybe it's like I don't know, like morning kind of mist or something, perhaps. Don't want to lose all of it. Okay, so some grasses there. We'll have some grasses coming in on this right-hand side. There we go, let's just wiggle those in. Okay. Take that a little bit higher through there. So because I'm trying to suggest these as being grasses, I won't brush the paint from left to right or right to left, okay? Right. I yeah. must make sure that I'm scrubbing the brush vertically or kind of, you know, at a, a, a 45 or a you know, 30 degree angle or something, just to give the suggestion that all of these little breaks are in this kind of direction. If I do it this way, then it's going to suggest that it's totally flat, okay. which I don't really want. Yeah. Right, okay. So I'm noticing that this edge between the grasses and the, this darker band is still a little bit too acute. So I'm just going to rub it in places to lose that line. I don't want a line there. Um, I just want to break that up a little bit. So here I might just kind of go horizontally a touch just to break that line up. There we go. Okay, right, so now I'm going to drop to a slightly smaller brush just for a moment, so it's a bit smaller brush, because I've noticed I've got a little area of white that I've left here, so I'm just going to blend that edge a little bit so it's not so acute. I want to keep a little bit of tonal variation there, but I don't want it to be too big. Okay, right. And I'm going to start to wipe out where my sun's going to come. So I'm just going to make a sort of a white ball. Okay, now obviously that's not going to be the sun. It's just an area that we can paint into, obviously. We want any paint. So next, I'm going to then work out where some of these clouds are going to come which basically um oops just turning my tissue so i can get a clean bit of tissue so then the clouds kind of go round around the sun oops getting lots of tissue come off i'm going to use a bit of um a bit of rag it's going to be easier than tissue so i'm just going to put my finger in this rag and use that and rub into it so this is all going to be cloudy 
kind of through here and I'm giving it a little bit of an angle as well I don't want it to be completely flat so I want it to be a bit more um, with a slight angle to it just to make it a bit more interesting a few bits knocked out over there okay and then <coughs> the cloud is going to continue up and then out of the picture on this side so we're going to take it right out of the picture over here we lightly just drag this tissue uh, tissue this um rag rag that's the word i was looking for yeah just drag it very lightly and just kind of blend those areas of color together a little bit so that i'm st it's still blue but i want it to be a very very slightly lighter version of the blue that's around it which gives the impression of it being a ray <laughs> If that makes sense, I don't even know if that makes sense, but um, let's just knock a bit more of that out. With no line, but you don't want a line, okay? You want to try and keep it quite lineless, kind of wiggling its way through here. Now, if you are using oils and you're finding it's not lifting out, we can dip the, um, the rag. I don't know if you can see that. I just dipped it into some spirit, and that will help me to lift out the the um the paint if you're doing this in watercolor obviously you can't really do that but you can do some lifting out of a sponge if you, if you if you want to which can do a similar kind of similar kind of thing oh my board's moving stay put so bringing some clouds in from this right hand side there we go what about There's a clap sorry gone what about acrylics how do you lift out with was that a question from someone? Yes, Maureen. Uh, what, what Hello, do, Maureen. How do you lift out with acrylics? Um, you don't, unfortunately. No, um, <clears throat> you'll need to just paint over. All right. Okay, okay so um, you can paint these out with, um, with white. All right. All right, just use some white to, or some lighter grey colours to kind of um, block these out with. Okay. I'm just going to make how dark this is so there we go so it's gonna be way too dark okay really what I'm looking for is a color which is not too much darker but a little bit lighter than this land down here but it might be okay well we'll try a little bit lighter and see how we get on <clears throat> so I'm just putting a little bit more white in that so um right so just blocking in a little bit of this it might be too dark we might have to come back and lighten some of this up possibly later but for the moment it's it serves our purpose so i'm just going to bring this color up to my sun now the sun is going to be here somewhere and i don't know if you can see but on the reference where the sun is actually flaring through the cloud this area here is very very important because the cloudy bit here is almost you can't even see it it's like it's almost like burnt out but then on the edges of that is very orangey red, and then it goes into the pinks and purple, or sorry, the purple. So when we get into that sun bit, we will be putting more, a lot more color um, to make it feel a bit more um, like the sun's breaking through the cloud. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's bring these um, pinky purples, continuing them through and then out of the picture. Oop, my ball keeps falling off. <clears throat> Now the nice thing obviously, or one of the nice things about oils is that because it doesn't dry like acrylic does, it's too dark, so it's a bit hard to see at the moment because everything else is quite light, but hopefully that will be light enough, it might need to come a little bit lighter. There we go. So we'll bring this again up to us. So our sun's going to be in this area. Poke its, poke its head through there. And then we'll come up there. Meet that cloud there. <coughs> and then again, we go up and then out of the picture. And then what I'm going to do on the bottom of these clouds is just very lightly blend them out a little bit because I don't want them to be too sharp. I want them to be really soft. 
I'm just working this color into my um, sky color that we already painted earlier. So you see, you see there, it's just, it's just tickling away the bottom of that cloud. Let's make that a little bit more strong there. There we go, just a bit more strength in, or just change the shape of that cloud a little bit. It was a bit uninteresting. So soften this off. A bit more of the same color through here. So what you really want to try and do with these clouds is um, make the shapes um, not too similar. Okay, mm. try and make it as um, almost as random as in shape as possible. Try not to make them symmetrical. Mm. Right, because if they're so now these clouds, this has got a lot more white in it. So out on the right hand side here, we've got some very, very subtle, excuse me, very subtle clouds. So let's just wiggle some of that colour through there. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Keep it really soft. Similarly up here. Let's try a little bit of this up here. There we go. So the idea is, is that when you place this within the blue, the blue and the orange aren't too far apart. And that might, does everybody know what I'm talking about there in terms of tone and value? Yeah, it's just trying yeah. to get it. <laughs> so what you're aiming for is that when you put this orange um, into this, these areas and you squint at it, they merge with the blue quite quickly. Okay, that's what you're, that's what you're aiming to do. So that it doesn't jump out and sort of scream at you. All right, you want it to be a bit subtle. Mm. So just work a little bit of that into these clouds. A little bit through here. Mm. Bit in there. There we go. A little bit of the same orangey colour up here, going just sort of floating out of the picture. And then I'm going to use the same colour to link these clouds now down into my other formation of clouds. So I'm going to bring, and it needs to go a little bit lighter now because I'm coming down in the sky. So obviously, as the blue gets lighter, so shall the um, the clouds. So let's make that coming in in here, and then I'm going to bump this orangey, very light orangey colour now up into the initial clouds that we started to put on just to work those colors together a little bit. <clears throat> Bring a bit of that on this right hand side. Get these clouds um, floating away. Okay, a little bit in there. Just a little bit back up there. <coughs> Okay, now, whilst um, I'm in the light paint mood, I'm gonna go and grab a smaller brush now. So I'm gonna use a little round brush. It's still um, a hog. Okay, so it's still a bit stiff. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some very neat white, all right? So very clean, very, very clean. And this needs to be very clean. And into that, I'm gonna put a teensy bit of lemon yellow. Okay, and a tiny bit of lemon yellow, all right? So it's still very, very, um, very light. And then I'm going to start to bring that into my um, main area of light. So I'm not putting it right in the center. I'm going to leave a little area of white right in the middle here that I could just put a little pinprick of bright white into at the end. Okay, so don't fill the whole space up. We don't want a disc of yellow. 
Mm-hmm. We're just filling in, we're filling in the edges. And then a little bit of this colour popping its way through the cloud there. It's going to come and break in the cloud over here. A little bit of more. I'm going to go slightly orangier now. So put a bit of orange into that same colour. <coughs> and I'm going to use that just to break around the edge of that little bit of cloud there. We'll have a little bit over here. Maybe a little bit on this bottom edge of this cloud. We'll blend it in a little bit. <coughs> Do the same on this left hand corner. So I'm going to use that now to I'm quite light enough. Let me go a little bit lighter. So this is going to come up into the edge of this top edge of the cloud. there perhaps a little bit over here a few little spits and spots of it it's gonna have a little bit of that poking its way through the bottom of that cloud teensy bit down here A little bit under there. Okay. Right now, I'm going to go with some. I feel like I need a bit more um, yellow in here. So I'm just going to take a little bit of lemon yellow. and just work a bit of this. I'm gonna kind of blend it into the existing sky, just to up the color content a little bit. Make it start to be a bit stronger color wise. So let's just blend that out a touch on the edge. <coughs> Going to go now into a little bit of orange as well. So we're going to have a little bit of this. Go back to my blending brush. Because I need to keep this really soft. See what it looks like. Looks really good. <laughs> gorgeous. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Because when you're sitting on top of it, you can't always tell what it is you're doing. Oh, how should you doing. Be? Sorry? No little cottage yet. No little <laughs> cottage yet, no. <laughs> no. No, I'm waiting. We're cottage free today. Mm. Right, so I'm gonna a little bit of this in here and I'm going to start to 
bring a little bit of this light up into these clouds. A bit more white. A little bit around there. Touch up here. Make that one a bit brighter. More light in those clouds. We'll also bring a bit more light, kind of wiggling its way down here. That was a very big sigh from somebody. Me. <laughs> Going well then, Jackie. My colour up. You what? I just mucked up my colour. That's okay. Oh. Really? oh. Yeah. It's all Are you right. Doing it more, you doing I'm, it more I'm doing it, Stuart. I've got a brush in each hand. You have, have you? <laughs> well, well done. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with it, but I have. <laughs> <laughs> it's rubbing off then. <laughs> well, I just got to wet it because I'm using watercolours. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a lie. <laughs> so I'm trying to wet it and then try and blend. Yeah. It doesn't look it hard. anything like what you've done. <clears throat> no, it doesn't. Well, it's okay. No resemblance. Well, you know. <laughs> we have been at it a long time, Sue. So. Yes, but, I know. I know. I know. The thing is, when, when you paint something as well, you, you kind of... Like like last week when you saw the house in the in the landscape. I mean, yeah, I remember yeah, seeing yeah. that for the donkey's years. And because you get into your own kind of way of thinking about what yeah, it is, I suppose so. Cheap, yeah. So make, putting a slightly more purpley um, cloud just to change the light effect here a little bit, give us give the feeling that the cloud is slightly more in silhouette. Because um, mm. it's I don't want it all to be too pinky and. Um, all one colour, it needs to have some variation in it. So let's just bring some of those colours up there. So I need a bit more of a um, really pinky colour. And that's probably too dark. Nope. So we'll have a little bit of this ready pink colour on the edge of this cloud down here. Got to break this up a touch, it's a bit heavy. Questions, Stuart? Yeah, go on. Okay, so now some more yellow around that one. Perhaps we'll come a little bit a little bit stronger with the yellow I feel. Uh, orange I should say. Let's punch this colour up a little bit more there. <clears throat> a little bit more of that here. We might even dip into a <clears throat> teensy bit of a teensy bit of red. Just a few little spits and spots of that. Which we'll need to work back in in a minute. So let's break that edge up a little bit. I don't want to blend it too oh. much, just want to soften it down. Was that someone huffing and puffing? It's me yeah. again. I just, I just looked at mine and gone, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's bring it into this foreground area. So I'm going to bring some of that in, in down here and work some of that into this area in places. Again, sort of um, keeping it quite vertical with the brush marks. Uh -huh. These could be just like, I don't know, scrubby bushes or... Um, gorse. Gorse bushes, as someone is about to say. <laughs> <coughs> um, so a little bit of that over there. Perhaps a little bit on this side. Okay, and then I'm also going to then put a little bit more yellow into that. Perhaps a little bit of ochre. 
a little bit without using white. So, bring something slightly lighter into this area. Well, primrose is even. <laughs> what you like. Primroses. I need a bit more green, I think. Lighter greens. So a bit of iridium, a <laughs> bit of yellow, a bit of ochre. Pick up some lighter <coughs> green colours. Bring some of these in. So a bit there, a bit here, and in this corner. Oh dear. A bit in the foreground. Yeah, because it's watercolour, if I go into it and splurge all over the place. Leave that there. Okay. <coughs> Green up into those areas. Okay. Perhaps a little bit more blue in there. Darken out the touch. So I'm just populating a few little colours into the darker band that we had mm -hmm. um, earlier. Just to add a little bit more interest. Right now, let's go back into the sky and sort out those shapes that I'm going to get moaned at if I don't sort them out. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I'm going to go into a larger brush again, back to my purpley, um, purpley bluey greys. So, a little bit more white in there. Okay. So, let's just break these up a little bit. Bring these shapes. And I'm going to go a bit warmer now, so a bit more red in there. Still trying to keep the tone about the same. So it's going to come a bit pinkier. I'm going to have some <coughs> slight warmth or more warmth to the bottom of these clouds. A bit dark, just come lighter. And much lighter. There we go. Uh, warm up, warm up this a little bit more, a bit more on this side. Okay. Mm. You said of course that's fine. Keep it down here, bring a little bit of that up into this, so these pinky, pinky colours. May even bring the odd cloud <coughs> down into here as a suggestion of you know some very very light soft clouds and you know just floating across across the sky. Perhaps a little bit more down here. As you do, you get that sort of very low lying. Very low lying clouds. Just check this for tone, make sure it's not too too dark. And I'm just gonna sharpen up the odd bit here and there of my hill line. A little bit light in that's a bit too dark. So 
this needs to be a teensy bit lighter than the sky that's above it just to give that sort of glowy glowy effect or early morning effect i should say yes sunset 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 daybreak sunrise. who knows whichever way you want to read it <laughs> sunrise sunrise sunset <clears throat> Generally, though, I think the sunsets in the the sun rises in the morning tend to be a little bit more lemony. They are the, definitely, the, um, definitely yes, yes. And the sunsets yeah. tend to be a little bit more golden from well, from way I really? kind of view them. But yeah, have to see them. So a little bit more of that bubbling its way just through here. Get that a little bit lighter. Oh yeah, that's lovely, that is, yeah. Just to make that a bit more, um, just to get the hills to show up a little bit better and to uh, increase the light effect. I'm going to take a little bit more lemon yellow now, just into that same colour. Just above that little line, I'm going to put a bit more lemony yellow. A few spits and spots of the lemon yellow. Perhaps a little bit around this cloud. <coughs> Long tail in. Mm. Long tail mm. breakfast. He's on the apple tree, or he was. A few of these little red bits around these clouds. There's a cat. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little bit more um, ready warmth into the clouds, where the light is in the clouds. So I'm going to mix up a sort of a pinky, very light pinky colour. And bring that into the edges of some of these shapes, just to warm them up a bit more. Some of these lemony ones, if I pop the red not necessarily over the top, but next to or near to the yellowier colours. Mm. And optically they mix. You don't have to you don't have to paint everything out. You can just let the you know a bit of red next to a bit of orange uh, yellow is gonna make it go orangey. You don't have to mix the two colours together necessarily. And sometimes it's actually better not to mix them together because then they have a bit more of an interesting um, or work a bit more interestingly. So a little bit of this. Just a bit. Oh dear, dear, dear. <laughs> dear. A few more little spots of this pink just creeping their way in there. A little bit down here. Then I need to now get a little bit more um, ready pink in here, I feel. To <coughs> flare out this. <coughs> Loud a little bit. And make take some of that colour up into the body of the cloud so it's not so so blue, it's a little bit less. It turns a little bit more to the redder side. So we could even have let's try a bit more pink in there. Okay. 
darkers down here just to maybe make a you know like a little tree or something back here a couple of little trees just to break up this line a little bit maybe i need to do that yeah i'm gonna put a tree on. just putting in some of these sort of musty you know these cooler grey type colours just to give some, I don't know, like trees or something a little bit more in the distance, just to push the mountains back a little bit really more than anything. This is a really difficult sky, I wish I hadn't mm. started it. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's all I feel. Yeah.